Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on what's cool in Windows 7. In this final segment, we're going to look at parental controls, a very important part of Windows 7 and important to each and every responsible parent. To set those up, you first have to make a standard user account for each of your children. You can do that from Control Panel, User Accounts and Family Safety. You just go in and say User Accounts. Say that you want to create a new user account. I've created one called Child. Once you have accounts for each of your children, and be sure not to make them administrators, press Parental Controls. You see here is the child. Now, set up how child will use the computer. Parental controls will be on. Now you can set time limits. And you can set exact times when the computer can and cannot be used by the child. And you can set it up differently for each child. So here you can turn time controls on and off. You can select here when the computer is blocked and all the spaces in white are when the computer is allowed. Click OK. You can also limit games by rating, content, or title. So you can specifically say that you don't want your child to play a certain game. Can they play games? Yes. Do you want to block or allow games by rating or content? Up to you. Block or allow specific games? Here again, totally up to you. Program limits, on or off. Child can use all programs. Child can only use the programs I allow. If you select that, then it will scan your computer, pull up a list of programs, and you can personally select each program that you want your child to be able to use. So this is a quick look at parental controls in Windows 7. It gives you as a parent the power to put some restrictions as far as what's being used or when it's being used. This concludes this 10-part series on what's cool in Windows 7. I'm Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and as I like to say, that's all there is to it.